This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, Yahabah Shemiah Washah, Behold, I will rise up against Babylon, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. And I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would love to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth, blessings, and safety to the elect. Thank you, Trey. Retired Force Sergeant General Jack Keen in studio. Good morning to you, sir. Yeah, good morning. Uh, let's come back to Israel and Hezbollah in a moment. Um, mm -hmm. And let, let's start here with what happened this week. Because there's an alliance that we need to pay attention to. Wall Street Journal, here you go. How Putin rebuilt Russia's war machine with help from U.S. adversaries. Iran, North Korea, and China are supplying the people and know-how to tool up Russia's factories and churn out arms for the war in Ukraine. This relationship could be very dangerous for us for a very long time. How do you see it? Yeah, very much so. Four days after the State of the Union, our intelligence chiefs came before a scheduled meeting with the Congress. And they said, these four countries that you identified here represent a threat to the United States we haven't seen in multiple decades. And looking at this, what we're really facing is collaboration and cooperation among four distinct allies. China is a near-peer competitor. Russia is a chronic threat. Iran seeks domination of the, of the Middle East. And in North Korea has a nuclear arsenal with ballistic missiles that can reach the United States. This is serious. We believe at ISW that we haven't seen a threat like this since World War II. Why? Because we could get involved in more than one war in multiple theaters. That is really the issue that we're facing. And here's the problem, Bill. The intelligence chief said this is very serious. We haven't seen it in decades. We're saying we haven't really seen anything like this since World War II. Where is the administration having a frank conversation with the American people about the seriousness of this threat and how it would impact American security? It 